Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, by the way, teacher, I think the spring is such an awesome invention. Of course it is. Do you know why it is so widely used? Hmm, I think it's because springs can be stretched and compressed. Yes, in other words, it is elastic. Do you realise that for different springs, they have different elasticities? You mean some are easier to stretch than the others? Yes. I noticed that the springs in some ballpoint pens are harder to stretch or compress than others. I thought it's because they just come from different factories. These springs can be made from different types of metals. The coiling of the springs differs as well. This is why some are harder to stretch than others. The ability of something able to be stretched or compressed, or rather, the elasticity of the spring, is indicated by an index called the spring constant. The spring constant? Yes, the spring constant. Since we are on the topic of springs, let us talk about Hooke's law. Uh what exactly is Hook's law? Sounds like a pirate with a hook as a hand. Kids, Hook's law is a physics principle which states that the force needed to stretch or compress a spring is directly proportional to the extension of the spring. The equation of this principle is given by F equals to Kx, where F is the force applied to stretch or compress the spring. K is the spring constant and X is the extension of the spring from its equilibrium length. What is meant by an equilibrium length? It is the length of the spring when no force is acting on it. In other words, it is the original length of the spring before any stretching or compressing. Take the spring of your pen as an example. When you are not applying any force on the spring, it neither stretches nor compresses. And this length is known as the equilibrium length. So, do you understand what is Hooke's law now? <laughs> 